Bonjour à tous, vous écoutez French Blabla, the only place to learn French like a native. Aujourd'hui, c'est l'épisode 17 et je m'appelle Caroline. Do you remember the French Essential series where we studied the difference between bon and bien and also the difference between c'est and il est? If you haven't checked them yet, head over to episode 6 and 8. Today, I have another tough cookie for you. You know that in French we have two verbs for to know, connaître and savoir. As a consequence, a lot of students who don't have the same distinction in their own language are confused and always hesitate. But before diving in, I would like to tell you that my current web address will change. Yes, I'm moving to a cozier place. You're more and more each week to follow me and to listen to me, so I thought it was time to have a proper place to welcome you. Don't worry, the furniture and wallpaper are still the same, only the address changed. From now on, you'll be able to find me at frenchblabla.org. Frenchblabla.org. Many have asked me if there was a magic recipe to know whether to use connaître or savoir. And there's actually one. It's super easy, you'll see. We use connaître with a noun, never a verb. So for example, you can say Je connais Marc et Sophie. Je connais Marc et Sophie. Or, je connais ce restaurant. Je connais ce restaurant. But you can't say, je connais nager. Je connais nager. Un, un. Or, je connais comment il s'appelle. Je connais comment il s'appelle. Nope, it doesn't work. It's not possible to combine connaître with a verb. If you want to use a verb, you will use savoir. For example, you will say, je sais nager. Je sais nager. Or, je sais où il est. Je sais où il est. I know where he is. And that's it. This simple rule concludes today's episode. Thank you for listening and see you very soon for the next one. Come on, guys. Did you really think it was that easy? It's French we're talking about. There's more to it than just a simple rule. However, if you're just a beginner, and by this I mean A2 or below, or if you don't want to bother with details, you can stop this episode here. This rule isn't completely bulletproof, but it will get you covered in 80% of the situations, which is a pretty good percentage if you ask me. For those of you brave French learners who are still listening, let's dig in a little bit more. In order to choose wisely between the two verbs, we need to understand what they mean. Let's take two examples. Je connais mon numéro de téléphone. And je sais mon numéro de téléphone. Nowadays, it's very common to hear somebody say, Je sais jamais mon numéro. Oh, je sais jamais mon numéro. When you need to give this information to someone and are unable to do so. In English, both sentences would be translated by, I know my phone number. Translation isn't going to help us, I'm afraid. In the first sentence, you have to imagine the verb connaître as a list of all the things that you know exist, that you're familiar with. For each thing on this list, there's a box that you tick if you do have this information. For example, are you familiar with the writer called Baudelaire? If yes, if the name rings a bell, then you can tick the box on your list of things. Congratulations! Tu connais Baudelaire. Are you aware of the existence of a plant called durian? If no, you cannot tick the box and I'm sorry to tell you that tu ne connais pas le durian. Let's go back to our telephone number example. Je connais mon numéro means I'm familiar with my phone number. I already saw it. This information is somewhere in my brain. But then why can we also say je sais mon numéro or even weirder Je connais mon numéro, mais je sais jamais mon numéro. The verb savoir goes deeper in the knowledge. Connaître stays at the surface. When you sais something, you have internalized the knowledge. You have learnt it very hard, sometimes by heart, and it's now a part of you. Like, for example, this poem that your teacher made you learn and that you still remember now. In our previous example, you're aware that you do have a phone number, so tu connais but you're unable to retrieve the information you haven't learnt it by heart. So, tu sais jamais ton numéro. 
We have the same difference with the poem at school. If you saw its name and recognized it, you would say, Ah oui, bien sûr, je connais ce poème. And if you could recite it, you would say, Ah oui, je sais ce poème. This subtle difference only works when there's a noun. As we saw it at the beginning of the episode, you cannot use a verb with connaître. The second nuance I wanted to talk about is when you combine connaître with a person or a place. Because you could be faced with this situation where you ask a French person, Tu connais les États-Unis? Tu connais les États-Unis? Do you know the United States? And the person will answer, No. Doesn't mean this person sucks at geography? Well, not really. It only means that the person has never been to the US before. Remember that connaître also means to be familiar with. In other words, to have experienced something. It's the same with people. If you ask, Tu connais Brad Pitt? Tu connais Brad Pitt? Do you know Brad Pitt? It's very possible to get a no as an answer simply because the person has never met him. It's very probable that with non, the French person will add juste de nom. Juste de nom. Literally, just by name. It's a common answer to state that we do know this thing exists, but we haven't experienced it. Another possible answer would be J'en ai entendu parler. J'en ai entendu parler. I've heard about it. And now I'm pretty sure you're going to ask me, Caroline, is there a question that we can use to ask if the person knows about something without implying he or she has experienced it? And the answer is mm, not really. You could ask, tu as déjà entendu parler de, plus fill in whatever place or person. Tu as déjà entendu parler de. Have you heard about blah blah blah? But it's definitely not the most natural question. We still prefer to use tu connais plus fill in whatever place or person, even if it's a bit confusing. However, if a French person or teacher is listening, if you know a better question than tu connais, please share it with us in the comment section of today's episode. And we're done for today. I hope this episode helps you see the difference between these two verbs a bit more clearly. As always, a challenge is waiting for you at be careful new address frenchblabla.org. If you think my podcast is useful and that it helped you with your French, please leave a review on iTunes. You will encourage my work. You just have to click on the big black iTunes button at frenchblabla.org. Je vous souhaite une très belle journée et à tout de suite dans les commentaires. Bye bye.